Hello everybody, this is the Indio51. Welcome to this week's episode of Card Friday. Um, sorry for not doing Card Fridays as often. I just couldn't find the cards to do, like, review on. But, um, this week I actually found one. It's number 107, Galaxy Eyes Tekion Dragon. Um, I've seen a lot of Galaxy players these days, and when I read into this card, well, I'm not a happy panda because this card is so good. Um, well, in my opinion, it's really good. It's a uh, rank 8 XC that requires two level 8 monsters, which isn't that bad of a requirement. Um, so its effect is once per turn, once per battle phase, at the start of your battle phase, you can detach one XYZ material from this card and negate the effects of all other face-up monsters on the field. And if you do their attack and defense, become their original attack and defense during the battle phase of the turn this card is activated, each time, a, each time an opponent's card effect is activated, this card gains 1000 attack until the end of the battle phase. It can attack twice during each battle phase. So, with that said, I think this effect is actually pretty good, because you can detach one to negate the effects of all face-up monsters on the field. Well, assuming that Quasar didn't negate, you can negate Quasar's effect. Assuming that Quasar didn't negate this thing's summon. <laughs> and, also, like, um, effects like Horn of, Horn of the Phantom Beast and stuff, like, they're... Attack boosting cards, oh, it just negates all their effects. It's really good. And plus, if like you, you run into a morphing jar or something, this card can just attack again. Which, and plus it gets an extra 1,000 attack, so it makes it a 4,000 attacking monster. So let's jump to the end real quick. Um, so, Galaxies. It's... Part of the galaxy archetype so yeah galaxies they can spam level rank eights quite quickly with some of these cards up here um galaxy knight where you can just normal summon it without tributing if you control photon galaxy uh galaxy eyes photon dragon where you can just special summon it by tributing two monsters with 2000 or more attack um, you get those monsters out real quick with Pho Photon Sanctuary. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, with this card, Photon Sanctuary, you get them out quite quick. Um, Galaxy Wizard, which you can increase this card's level by 4, which goes to 8. It, or you can tribute this card to add one Galaxy Monster. Um, I don't know why I have two of these here. Let's just take one out. Um, Galaxy Ex Expedition, if you control level 5 or higher, Photon or Galaxy Monster, special summon one level 5 or higher Galaxy Monster, summon the deck and face up defense position, uh, and you can only activate one Galaxy Expedition per turn. This card is really good, like, it's summoning and face up defense position, even though it's that, it doesn't negate their effects for anything. It doesn't say they, it cannot attack, or it can't do anything, or it's attack at zero. It, it's just summoning a face-up defense position, so next turn you can just move it into face-up attack position and attack. If you get out Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon, oh, well, it's a free 3000 attacker with 2500 defense. Um, Galaxy Zero, um, it's basically a premature burial, but if this card is destroyed, that monster's attack becomes zero. And you pay no life points to get it. But, and Accelerate Light. I know there's more Galaxy support cards that are right here if you really just want to like look at them yourself. I don't feel like going over all of them. Um, these are the mainly the ones that I want to go over. If you control no monster, special summon one level 4 or lower photon galaxy monster from your deck, you can only activate one Excel light per turn. You cannot normal summon where set cards this turn. So you activate this, um, go for this, if you already have a level 8 on the field, make this level 8, and just go for Tekion Dragon. Use, I like, used to, I think I should make a deck out of these, a uh, deck, galaxy deck, because there's more rank 8 support now, um, used to be, it's, it used to be only like these, 
which really, like, the only good one that I find here is Heretic Sun Dragon. This one, Neo Galaxy Eyes, it's considered, well, it is a galaxy monster. Um, it just requires too much, and its effect is, like, okay. Like, if you don't play it against an XYZ deck, this thing is just like a 4500 beater. That's all, if you don't play against an XYZ deck. And it requires way too much. It requires 3 level 8. By that time, you should have already won. Um, gimmick Puppet. Um, uh, yeah, just mouse over the effects. I don't feel like reading that. This one is another XYZ killer. Um, this one, this one is funny because, um, it's basically like a three turn final countdown. If you're playing against a final countdown deck and you somehow make one of these, aww, oh, they're, they're gonna rage quit. And, okay, let's go to Tachyon Dragon. Um, yeah, it's really much easier to, like, make rank 8s now with more support in galaxies, and they got a better rank 8. But the only problem I see with this card is if you run into a Raikou, well, yeah, we can say goodbye to Tachyon. But assuming they don't run 3, I don't see the reason why they won't run 3. Because they're playing galaxies. Um, this could be like viable in other decks too, like Heretics. If you're running the level eight build instead of the level six, just swarming and killing others, killing other decks. Um, yeah. So in the end, this card is a really good card, and I'm probably gonna play some galaxies too. I'm gonna make a deck. Galaxies. It's really popular right now. I've been seeing a lot of these on DevPro in the end. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching and leave any suggestions for more cards on Card, Fr card Friday for next week or maybe the week after. Uh, and like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.